Hey, what's up guys, Chejo here, and today I'm gonna show you how to make something that I've used in every single one of my Tibbon 1 levels, I think. Well, let me check. OWO, use it. Uh, Pokemon boss fight, use it. New level, well, that's not a Tibbon 1 level. Uh, Middle machine, use it. Contrast, use it. Yeah, that's, that's all of my Tibbon 1 levels. So they all use this technique, and it's, it's very efficient, it's very good, and it works, it's easy to do. It's... It, it, you should use it, okay. Let's let's go with that. So let's just say that you want this one to move here, this one to move here, and this one to move here, and then this one to move here. And you want this cycle to continue all the time. Let's just add them all the group. And make one cycle, so... Move one x 32 minus 30y 3 minus 30x and then 4 is 30y so now yeah you see it moves this one was there this one there it moves like that and then after that um wait it should go down, so this one should be 4, this one should be 1, 2, and then 3. So now it goes twice, and now, now it's pretty much the same as it was before. You can add um, all of these, make them go to their original spot. So now that they go to their original spots, so you could just do this. And it would seem like it's going around all the time. But then if you add um, speed portals, for example, if you have a lot of speed portals, this is going to be quite hard because sometimes it just doesn't match up and anyway it takes a lot of objects. So this technique is going to fix that. And it's very simple. So we here we have all of these. We're going to use pawn triggers. Uh, let's just make this one group 5, group 6, and group 7. And now what you want to do, uh, since this is group 6, you want this one to spawn that group with a delay of 0.5 seconds. Because this one takes 0.5 seconds to move. And for this one, you want these ones to spawn, which is group 7. And add the same delay. And for this one, uh, this is group 5, you want to do the same thing. Group 5 and 0.5 delay. So now it's almost done. You just add this uh, spawn trigger and multi trigger. And you add one. One trigger here, or uh -oh, whenever you want this to start, you add that trigger, and you're going to make it the same as the last one without a delay. So now, uh, when you go over here, it's going to start this cycle, and it's going to go forever. Unless I did something wrong. But yeah, this one should start immediately after. Because it just set, sets them back. Mm. So now it goes forever. It saves a lot of objects because that's all I need for the whole level if I want this this thing to move forever. And it's also really good for not only saving the triggers and making everything simpler. Uh, it's very efficient. It works with, uh, like I said, it works with all of these. These, they will move the exact same way anyway. They don't affect this at all, so that's good. And also, uh, I'll just show you OWO background um, is here. And what I'm. Oh no. So, what the trigger here is that it moves these ones uh, left and then it adds them to the uh, original spots, so, so it makes the same thing. And then it does the same thing, but it moves uh, these ones up. And after that, it puts them back in the same spot. Which means that I can make it uh, run forever. If I only added them to move uh, up and down, up and down. 
it would be pretty hard to do because you would ha have to add uh, groups in a weird way I'm pretty sure but this way you can, you can see there real well how it works it goes up and then down and it's not going up or down all the time I don't have to do it like this and add a lot of these because they go to their original spot so that's unneeded so anyway that's that's going to be it it's pretty simple pretty effective uh, it's something you should really start to do in your levels it's not hard at all all you need to do is one cycle of the loop you want to make and that's going to be it well anyway thanks for watching leave a like subscribe hit the bell button because um because why not it's it's a good button you should click that and leave a comment if you have anything to comment um yeah also i would like to revive this series so if you have anything you would like to learn something simple like this uh, i could show you how to do it so please write that in the comments and that's about it thanks for watching see ya